First time you log into Seesaw and need to assign an activity to your students, you'll come into your class, which you'll see you have a section of classes here that would be pulled from PowerSchool. Every section would be here. So choose the one you want, if it's math or if it's reading. When you're in that class, you're going to hit the plus button to then go and assign an activity. In order to assign the activity, you have three to choose from. One is your library, which is where items that you've made or edited go. The school and district library, where you can filter through things that teachers within Elkhart Community Schools have made by grade level or subject. Or in this case, I'm going to go to the community library. You use the filters at the top to choose your grade level. So in this case, I'm going to go to second grade. And then you'll notice these tabs up here change. So I'm going to go to the Getting Started Activities in Second Grade. These are then all the activities that I can choose from. So I'm going to check out this first activity and see if I like it. It gives me what the students would see here. It gives me an example picture. And then here it gives me teacher notes, which you'll notice students would not see. But it gives you the background information that you'd need to be successful. If you like the activity, you're going to choose the heart. And then once you've chosen the heart, you can do a couple different things. You can hit these three dots at the bottom, and you could edit the activity if you wanted to, or share it directly from there. Or the other option is you just click this green button to assign it to your class. From there, you would choose which class you wanted it to go into, if you wanted to go into your homeroom or your math class. Um, you do want to actually use those levels of organization, because as we move forward with Seesaw, having everything for math class in the math section is helpful. Um, students as young as kindergarten are successful in navigating between their classes. You can also choose to give it, so if I'm going to put it in this class that I'm currently in, that's going to send it to every student. Or if I only want it to be a certain set of students, um, I can go and choose that tab and filter it. I can assign it right away. Or if you even want to get as specific, you can schedule it ahead of time by choosing a specific date and time. In this case, I'm just going to assign it, and it's automatically in the class. So when I go back to my class, students would find their activity underneath this Activities tab, because I've now assigned it.